G'day, how's it going? I'm Beth and this is the YWAM Perth Fortnightly News. It's been a powerful two weeks here in beautiful Perth, Western Australia. We were honoured to take part in Converge 2012, a vibrant five-day prayer event for churches to come together to pray for the church, our community and the nations. We also had our staff welcoming breakfast last Saturday and just as excitingly, we got back our birth attendance. This week, our birth attendance school returned from eight months of outreach. These 18 beautiful midwives went to India, Tanzania and Uganda, providing healthcare, delivering babies and telling people about Jesus. With over 370 babies delivered, 20,000 people receiving healthcare and 155 people receiving Jesus, they have a lot to be proud of. And I want to tell you a little story in Tanzania. I had the privilege to share a healthcare gospel with 51 students. And after the teaching, 47 students gave their lives to Christ. And um, they asked so many deep questions afterwards, questions I never even thought about. And it just shows the heart of Tanzanian's uh, children who are so hungry for God. One of my favorite memories from outreach was while we were working on some islands off the Lake Victoria. I met a woman named Jessica who had brought her very sick child into the clinic. She was really scared and hopeless. I prayed with her that night, and then when I went back to check on her the next day, I asked her if she knew Jesus, and she said no. So I told her about Jesus and his death on the cross and what that meant for her, and that day she became a Christian. Priceless is a new ministry of YWAM Perth. The ministry aims to bring awareness and prevention to the area of human trafficking globally. Last month, co-leaders Amy Garris and Jenny Ellis had the opportunity to go to London, England to run seminars. The seminars ended up being a point of connectedness and encouragement for them as they saw a number of people raised up in their desire to reach out to women involved in prostitution. As a ministry, we believe that the value of every human being is far beyond any price tag that could ever be put on them by another person. And God, with His perfect character of justice, would really want us to represent that in areas related to human trafficking, to modern day slavery, and to areas like prostitution. One young lady we met with was so excited because there's 20 people in her church alone that have a real heart to engage and work with women that are involved in the sex industry in areas of prostitution. And she really just wanted help getting out onto the streets and making it happen in their area. Mega Cities is a ministry that uses the diversity of the international body of Christ to converge on one city for one year, supporting the local church and hoping them to grow into places that they're not. Mega Cities 2010 was devoted to Mexico City, where we saw over 100 international teams come together to see citywide transformation. This year, Mega Cities 2012 is focused on the heart of England, London. So far, over 50 teams have come together to help the city out and to support the local church. We caught up with Rod Lobar, Mega Cities leader, to find out the latest. What we're seeing right now in London is really exciting. The churches have really connected in with the teams. I've talked to leaders in the city who've really felt over the years that there's been a lack of unity, not having faith and hope and expectation. They've gotten out on the street with the teams, the various leaders and church members. They've encountered sort of a reawakening. What God is using mega cities to do is just remind the people of London that God can do it. God can have an impact on their city. People can get saved, that all things are possible for Him. We've seen teams get into schools um, and lead people to the Lord in public schools. We've seen teams reaching out to people in gangs. We've seen people get saved from that background. They're so amazed at how open people are, how willing people are to receive prayer. Some of the multiple faiths that are in London have been some of the most receptive. A lot of the teams come with a lot of cross-cultural strength already within their team, and so they're able to go and minister to these multicultural, multi-faith people. As we look to the rest of the year, what we really need to see is just more teams. I've worked in many cities, but I've never seen a city like this that is so open and crying out for more teams, more help, more blessing. Furthermore, we just want to see more people get saved. There's been uh, about 100 salvations so far. That's really good in a city like London, but we just believe there's so much more, so many more people who need to hear about, Je hear about Jesus um, who are just sitting there waiting. We've seen that happen where people, someone comes up to them, shares the gospel, and it's just like they've just been waiting to hear this uh, for years. And we just want to see that multiply hearts to soften. So that's the news here at YWAM Perth. June 2nd is Global Outreach Day. If you want to be a part of it, you can find out more information here. 
We're looking forward to that, whatever other random things happen to happen. For the YWAM Perth News team, I'm Beth, and I'll see you next time.